So I'm going to start with say the command. Louis, get his attention. Put the stick or the food away. Hey, behind. Pressure on. Good. Nope, behind. Good. Good. Nope, behind. Good. Behind. Good. Behind. Behind. Good. Yes! So say behind, pressure. Uh huh. When he does it a couple times, yes, toss. Okay. Say the behind, pressure, yes, toss. Okay. Or feed. Yeah. We'll you do this session, whether it's 20 minutes or an hour and 20 minutes, and then you put them in the crate. Yeah. And then repeat. But again, when you are training with him, which should be a lot over the next few weeks, yeah. make it fun in between the obedience. Okay. Get some zoomies? You got some zoomies? Go get it, bud! <laughs> Go get it! Yeah. And one thing is don't mix up treats with play. Always okay. start with play. And then you're like, maybe the next <laughs> session you're like, I got 10 minutes, I'm going to do some food. Okay. But don't intermingle. You don't want to, okay. then he's competing with food and food's going to override that play that in this sense. guy right now, yeah. for sure. But I prefer play because play is interactional. Mm -hmm. And to me, food is very transactional. So sense. don't mix them up. But I want to do a little of the um, behind with some okay. food. I'll be right back. Yep. One thing is like, if you if you use pressure to get a dog to be in position, mm -hmm. they're more likely to hang on to that for the mm. length because they want to avoid the pressure. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, kind of we drive the speed limit to avoid aversive events, yeah. speeding tickets, accidents. Yeah. If we always use food luring or like, here's the food and like, let's lure you down. Then once the food's not there, it's like, why should I keep doing it? Yeah. But living in avoidance of aversives is kind of how we function. Yeah. More than we live in um, expectation of reward or sense. reinforcement. Does that yeah. make sense, uh -huh. Kat? So you can do like, you could have a treat and be like behind and go like this, right? But then once the food's gone, they work more quickly to learn how, and he, this is what his he knows. Yeah. He knows this escape avoidance training like, I got this weird pressure on my neck and she said something. I don't know what it is, but I know this process. That makes so sense. Yeah. he's going to be pretty quick to learn. And again, if he's in avoidance of you don't have to pull me because I know where to be. Mm -hmm. He's going to, he's going to do it forever. Yeah. Sort of mostly. That makes Does sense. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I'm not like one that's like behind because now I'm luring it. Yeah. Good. I'm not saying it's a bad thing to do. You can do some of it. Yeah. So it would be behind, yes, and right when he's behind my legs, mm -hmm. right? But how I will rather use the food is, which I might be confusing him now because I've started with this. That, yeah. I'll say behind, put it back here, yes, and then feed him, you know? Mm -hmm. Behind. See how I'm turning now? Uh-huh. Behind. He's just like waiting. Yes. And eventually, you would just go behind. Yes. Do you see what I did yeah. there? You know? And I shouldn't even move my hand. Behind. Now move my hand. Grab the treat. Say it again. Behind. Yes. That makes sense. It totally makes but sense. But I'd rather do this. Louis. He's like, okay, how do I get the food? Yeah, exactly. Louis, behind. Yes. And then reach for the food. Yeah. And he knows yes means, this is what the, the power of yes. Uh -huh. He knows, he's like, yes is correct. Let's go. So get him out of it. Get his attention. Behind. Nope. Nope, but he also knows nope. Behind. Nope. Nope. Yes! You see that, how yeah, I... that was different. Uh -huh. Yeah, good boy. You can do it with the ski pole behind, okay. you know? Yeah. It, it helps, like I was on that other trail because it was narrow. Mm -hmm. And it kind of gave him like he rails. Yeah. Like handrails almost. Yeah. So a ski track, like an up track, I don't know mm -hmm. if you guys backcountry tour, yeah. but like an up track, it's clear. Yeah. A skinny um, single track, like mm -hmm. horse gulch or where it's not like an open field with yeah. a dirt road, a fire road, it's better. 
and you can use your feet. You could say, so he's biking and you say behind and you do this. Okay. And he, maybe he's not straight behind the wheel, but he's... But he's not in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> so as soon as he's there, he'd be like, brake! Yeah. Okay. And yeah. when you're on a bike, it's hard to do yes feed, yes feed, yes yeah. feed. So it's a little harder. Or you guys could do it with each other. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of one person with him. Mm -hmm. Let's say you're on a single track and it's kind of wide, but all of a sudden you see it pinching. Mm -hmm. So right before it pinches, say, behind, use your leg, he's back, brake! Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's try this again. Get his attention. Behind. Behind. Yes. Because he was for the, and it'll make more sense when you have a bike tire yeah. or skis. Like I'm. Would you try like the skis Good before boy. the bike? Like is one harder um, than the other? No. Is it just all just repetition? And it's just repetition. Okay. Like he's learning this new cue. Yeah. So behind comes before any help. The help is either leash pressure. Okay. Or it's your food lure. Yeah. Like that's going to get him there. That he's going to follow the treat with his nose or he's going to feel the pull and go back. Yeah. It's, so you say your cue behind, get him in the back. As soon as he's there, yes, reward. Or okay. if you're on the bike or skis, you say break. Yeah. It's hard to, I mean, it's not impossible. Yeah. You could, you could just, yes, yeah, you have some and toss, yeah. you know, and he goes out. So. It's kind of like you don't overlap. You don't say behind as you're tugging. Yeah. You, the cue becomes a way for him to avoid. To avoid the lead. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Look at I marked you. Yes. <laughs> so, and then sometimes your hand, because I'm pulling on the leash, becomes a guide. Yeah. Help. Yeah. Behind. Yes. Good dog, buddy. Good dog. And with a bike, tire, or skis. It's not legs and heel. It's going to be really obvious. Yeah. It's like, this is this rubber thing. Or yeah. these are these things. So try it. You guys should practice it at home. Okay. And then... Um, Maybe we'll do it with you... snowshoes for a while. Yeah. See... Yeah. Something different. Yeah. Because you can do ski poles if you want. Yeah. But it's best to like not think you're going to go on a hike and do it. You're <laughs> like, I'm going to go in the front yard and do this a little bit. Okay. And then go on a hike. Perfect. Or go on a hike and then do it. But don't yeah. try to combat two at one right now. That makes sense you know, take yourself on a hike. You're like, I had an hour. Do 10 minutes of this and then go 50 minutes for your okay. hike. Hey, come on. Behind. Behind. Yes. I mean, I think he'll learn it fast. I think he is too. Like, I feel like the bike, like... I feel like the bike tire is going to be yeah. really clear because it's a different case. It's a whole different apparatus. Snowshoeing is a different apparatus, but you're still kind of in a marching mode. Yeah. Whereas a bike is rolling and it's faster and sense. skis, well, and skis sometimes you just, when they get on the back, you yeah. know, it's an easy way to teach them because you, yeah. yeah, you're a good dog. You're going to have a great outdoor life, aren't you? Aren't you? I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you. Oh, so good. You got leaves on your belly. You're the best Louie around. You're the best Louie around. You tired? Ready for a nap? Good dog. Yeah, good boy.